such a Hi. nice Hi. occasion to see you here in London for love actually it's a very enduring movie you know because it tackles all kinds of love you know in terms of uh, you know love at work love in you know difficult situations can you tell us more about you know your approach to the script and and how you felt when you read it well I felt um, ecstatic even to be sent it because I've never been in a big movie before and um, was very excited and the minute I kind of read the first scene just thought oh, I want this part so badly mm. and um, and just also thought what beautiful story you know just in the script alone just you know just looking at it on paper it moved me and um, that's always a good sign and similarly for me I loved it I love Richard Curtis I love his work and uh, it was it, uh, in, to read this particular script was very very satisfying. It's a cracker with lots of really big fat jokes, and some of them are mine. Yeah, yeah. most of them are yours. Yeah, most, most of them. Most of them are you were his favourite. You were his favourite. And uh, you. Yeah. Um, and it was very very. I was very grateful to get it. Well, actually, you know, most of the jokes came from both your characters in the yep. film. You know, they're the exactly. comic relief of this whole you sure, know, it, love worry. sentimentality. But you know, technically talking about the jokes, which ones did you enjoy most? I love the ant or deck one. I laughed for like five oh, minutes. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> the ant or deck. Yeah, I do actually. Well, I like any joke that gets a laugh. But, um, <laughs> now, apparently, that gets a very big laugh in England and not very much in America because obviously they don't know about yeah. ant and deck. But or an deck. ant and or, or deck. <laughs> But Ant and Deck were very, very sweet, and they were really good yeah. sports. And they didn't, you know, we had to do it a few times. And the first couple of times, I saw a sort of a little flicker of pain across their eyes as I said, "Hey, Ant or Deck," you know. <laughs> but then after that, they 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 kind of relaxed, and they were charming. See, I'm I'm, I'm still laughing because it's so uh, well, it's funny to me because I live here. Yeah. But uh, technically, is is your character based? Okay, a bit of Cliff Richards, but a bit of Mick Jagger. Well, I guess a little bit of everybody, really. There's no one particular individual mm. that uh, I, you know, I'm not a mimic. I can't, I wish I were. I can't really do mimicry, you know. I'm not mm. an impressionist. So I just have to, uh, the way of uh, speaking is, I suppose, something I've observed over the years. It's a kind of thing, it's what my mum used to call improved speech, mm. where somebody tries to put the H's on and tries to make the vowel sounds a little bit better and they kind of fail. That was mm. sort of the area that I was kind of interested in. I'm just interested in that kind of thing. And the slur was 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 that the yeah. uh, was that just you being drunk? Every well, day? yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. I take a I take a lot of drugs, so you know what I mean. It's hard. It's hard. No, I did. Yes, yeah, quite. No, but I like I to. Um, the slur. I, I like. It. Well, it's like he's given up drugs, but he hasn't given up slurring. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which is a thing you observe. The lasting the effects. I did a movie once where a guy had given up drugs, but he hadn't given up <laughs> snorting. So he used to s snort all the time, even sense. though he'd given up drugs, which I, I thought was vaguely amusing. Nobody else did, but... Uh. No, no, I think it's brilliant. Well, Martin, technically you were allowed in 10 Downing Street uh, for the film. Uh, you were probably not allowed as per se. The sets were fantastic. I mean, mm. Downing Street was the most fabulous set. I was like mm. blown away by it when I saw it at Shepparton. Um, no, unfortunately, mm. we didn't get to go to uh, the the real Downing Street, but um, the the sets were fabulous and mm. uh, the way that everything was built, you felt like you were actually in a real building. So mm. um, it was it was uh, I was spoiled rotten, you know, because mm. you know the the crew, the cast, the sets, everything was just the best. Mm. Well, uh, Hugh is uh, the kind of obsessive compulsive perfectionist. Uh, did you feel that on set? You know, his uh, always want to be great mood. Um, actually, he is very serious mm. um, when it comes to his work, and he he takes it seriously. It means a lot to him, and mm. um, and he. I loved that about him because he could quite easily be blasé about the whole thing because mm. he's done so many fantastic movies with Richard and it's all very familiar. But he still had that want and that drive to um, to to make this character what he wanted to make it and also to bring the best out in me, which mm. was which was lovely of him. Well, technically, the storylines are so interesting, all of them. You know, it's not like one story is interesting; all of them are interesting. Does that change your job in terms of how much you get interested in the other? storylines and the other plots it does to a certain degree because mm. you don't see people mm. they're not there uh, normally on a film most of the people are there most of the time and on this mm. uh, you were in your little story and they were in theirs but you did get to meet socially in between which was quite pleasant you know yeah, it's lovely you kind of it would be surprising you'd suddenly bump into alan rickman or emma thompson or are Matthew you in Grant. the movie <laughs> yes, quite. who are you um and all of that but it was uh, it was uh, it, no it was pretty much the same as you know the job is the same you know you have to try and tell the tale and, and deliver your jokes and you know and do the best you can
Yeah, it was really nice to see, you know, everything come together when we watched the screening because, you know, you have no idea, you know, how they're going to play mm -hmm. um, the character and how they're going to make it work and put their stamp on it or whatever. And, um, and uh, you know, it was a big challenge for Richard, you know, and... Um, and I thought, God, you're brave. But I also thought, you know, if anyone can pull it off, it would be Richard, you know, directing debut. And he hasn't got, you know, two main leads. You know, he's got 22. And um, and he just, I thought, God, that could get confusing. But he just kept, you know, everything really simple, um, you know, in the way of the, the format. And it worked. It just, and yet it's so complex, the stories. Sure. It's, it's just brilliant balance, brilliant balance. Thank you so much. Lovely meeting you both. Pleasure.